started brainstorming ideas for your research project. Now it's time for you to start narrowing your topic and coming up with research questions. I know that narrowing a topic can be a really hard part of the research process. In fact, narrowing a topic is one of the parts I find hardest as a writer. So music can work well as a form of audio punctuation so that audience members who are listening can hear when a video is starting or stopping. But in that case, the music was ineffective. It was too loud over my speaking voice and then it cut out abruptly, which meant if you were listening to the video, you were probably paying more attention to the music than to what I was saying. The volume of my speaking voice was also problematic. Sometimes I spoke too loud and sometimes I was too quiet to be heard. If you tend to make verbal asides when you're speaking like jokes, make sure to keep the volume of your speaking voice even so those can be heard by your audience members. The pace of my speech was also too slow. So I was slowing down what I had to say in theory so that people could follow me, but the result is that my speech became difficult to follow and frankly, a little boring to listen to. So keep in mind that an enthusiastic pace of speech is best for engaging students and students can always change the playback speed of your videos. And finally, there was a little background noise in that video. So that's just a reminder that we wanna record our instructional videos in a quiet space. You've already started brainstorming ideas for your research project, and now it's time to narrow down your topic and come up with research questions. I know that narrowing a topic can be a hard part of the research process. In fact, it's a part that I find to be hard as a writer. In that revised video, I edited the music so that audience members who were listening weren't prevented from hearing what I was saying. I also had the music fade out instead of cut out abruptly. I made sure to keep the volume of my speaking voice even, and I eliminated that background noise. And finally, I picked up the pace of my speech a little bit. Sometimes just making sure we're not speaking more slowly than normal makes a world of difference in ensuring our students are engaged in what we say.